morning. It's freezing cold this morning. Had a nice night last night though. Went to bed nice and warm. All the stars were out. It's a beautiful night, calm, peaceful, and now it's freezing cold. I got uh, condensation all over my uh, sleeping bag, so I gotta dry that out at some point. I don't think that'll be an issue though. It's supposed to be like 95 degrees later today. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do a 30 today. I don't think I've ever done a 30 mile day before on any of these trails, but it looks doable. That'll set us up to get into town tomorrow. And uh, as far as water sources, I think just this morning is the only kind of long stretch. 11 and a half miles or something like that to the first source. And then it gets a little more frequent. What's nice about a high snow year is that the uh, sources that are usually dry have all got snow melt in them. So a lot of water out here is flowing. I think um, the views all day might be like this, just following these tracks through the uh, fields and prairies up over rolling hills. Uh, the temperature has already risen from 35 to 65 in about 20 minutes since the sun's been up. I think it's going to be a warm one today. Still seeing a good number of snow patches out here. You can see all the trees are collapsed and killed off where the snow berm's been sitting all winter. Lots of little horn toads out here. I've seen like three or four of them already, all about the same size. Still kind of juveniles. A number of these fences to get through. A little bit of a cloud layer is keeping things just a little bit cooler. Coming up on the uh, McCarty Canyon Road, crossing this, going up the other side. I'm guessing this area is McCarty Canyon. I thought I'd be seeing a little more wildlife out here. Not even many cows. I've only seen like one group of cows, but there's nothing out here. There was more life in New Mexico. The Red Rim Wildlife Habitat Management Area. I finally see something. I see two pronghorn kind of by the fencing on my right. I'm going to have to get way closer in order to get a zoomed in image of them though. But just take my word for it for now. I've got two pronghorn. Well, there's one of them in the middle of the screen. There's the second one. Little overlook view of everything coming up for the next 45 miles. Muddy Creek is down there. We'll be going over to the other side of that rim and then just hugging the rim all the way across on that far side. And then Rollins is about 45 trail miles off that way somewhere. Made it to the first water source. A little fenced in area to keep the animals out. There's a little metal cistern there. I have not looked inside that because the spring is flowing very nicely. Clear, cold water coming right out of the pipe up here. I'm definitely due for a sit down break. I'm all tupped up on water, back on trail. Next stop, water break in nine miles.
Here's the first to cross in for Muddy Creek. This is not our good water source yet, as Muddy Creek's too muddy. We still got three miles to go for water. Here's the second crossing for Muddy Creek. We got one more mile to water. I'm at the third crossing for Muddy Creek, and there's a little side stream feeding right into it. Clear water, so right down there. Time to take a break. All right, done with the break. Loaded up on water. It's two o'clock. We've done 21 miles already. That's awesome. Next stop, five and a half miles from here is a farm tank. Um, and then we'll reassess how much further I'm going after that. A little bit of a rain cloud over there. I could use a cold shower just about now. There's the fourth crossing for Muddy Creek. I don't remember the other ones having a sign on it, but there you go. And it's still muddy. There's swallows flying around on all these bridges. Made it to the next water source, listed as a stock tank. It's just a little pond up there. A little stream flowing down from it, so I think that's good to collect. Weather's kind of blowing in. I'm just right on the edge of it as usual. I think I'll be okay though for now. There's no lightning or anything. Back on the road. All loaded up with water. Feeling heavy. I don't know how far exactly I'm gonna go. The next water source was a pond, like five and a half from here. And a bunch of people were getting sick from it. So I think I'm gonna have to skip that one. But I may be only doing like three miles left or so. Well, it's gonna have to do for camp. I'm up at Bridger Pass, exposed area. It was fine when I got here, but another wave of storms is blowing through. So right now it's just windy, bending my tent in half. I don't know if we'll get much rain at all. Most everything's going around to the north, blowing off that way. So I'm just gonna be hiding in my tent, try to hunker down the best I can for a while. Well, I barely had time to get settled in here, and then the worst windstorm slash sandstorm I've ever been in blew by. It lasted for about five minutes, so it was pretty short, but um, it was barely survivable. <laughs> it was pretty rough there for a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna have to ride this out until the uh, storms stop blowing by. Nothing's been right overhead, but it's gonna be a rocky uh, next couple of hours, I think. It's either stay here and ride it out or hike out another 15 miles. I've already done 30, so hiking out is not an option. So I'm just stuck here at this point. Anyway, that's it. Um, wish me luck. I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. Survive the night. It was only super windy for like... 30 minutes or so after I shut the camera off and then that was it. Everything passed and calmed down nicely. So I think I got mostly lucky in that regard. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and continue with more things to say. There's looking behind me. Lots of uh, rain in the vicinity. I'm getting light sprinkles every once in a while but uh, really nothing right where I'm at. And uh, lots of coyotes were yipping throughout the night down in this valley. They sounded pretty close, so that was kind of cool. And, um, yeah, I think my body is only uh, capable of, like, doing a marathon max, doing a 30-mile day yesterday. Kind of um, hurt my feet a little bit in the, kind of where my Achilles tendon is at on both feet. It was uh, rubbing raw and getting a little sore, so I put some Luco tape on that this morning. And hopefully that's better. But we got like 25 miles, 24 miles, I think, something like that, until we get into town. So overall, a shorter day, I guess. All this cloud cover may keep it cooler today, which I don't mind. 
as long as I don't get caught in any major downpours. There's the first pond for today. This is the one I was talking about yesterday that had reports of people getting sick from it, so I definitely don't want to drink from it. There's a couple more ponds ahead, but then in six miles is Sage Creek, and that should be the next good water source. There's a whole family of ducks swimming around in this pond. Still seeing snow patches in some of the hills around here. Still doing fine weather-wise. This is the Little Sage Creek area. Tons of waterfowl out there. This is my first good water source. That side's looking kind of scummy. I think I'll uh, be collecting from down here at the pond to the shore. We'll take a good snack break down here. Done with a nice snack break with the ducks, all loaded up on water again. Next break is going to be about eight and a half miles from here. There's a picnic area, and there's supposed to be a good pond water source there now, too. Here comes the fun part now. We're getting off the dirt road for a bit and we're just walking into the desert for the next three miles. It just kind of goes straight uh, vaguely in that direction. We may see a post every once in a while, but this is fun. <laughs> well, this isn't all too bad, I guess. There's not much bushwhacking. It really isn't that bad. Posts are kind of easy enough to see. And the ground's just kind of lumpy, so it's a little easy to trip. But not too bad, I guess. There's a paved road just over there. I guess you could road walk it, but where's the fun in that? This is way cooler. We're on some semblance of a dirt road. Then with the bushwhacking through the desert. There's an eight mile lake. We got about two miles left until we hit a picnic area where we can take our next break. Made it to the picnic area. Little lakes around here provide an excellent water source. About a half mile back, I had to walk past some people that were shooting rounds off into the hillside. They were being safe enough. Anyway, I'm going to definitely chill here for a bit. We did like 16 and a half miles before noon. So that was pretty awesome. And then up here is all swallows. I think I scared them all off, so they're all circling around right now, but that's pretty cool. We're all done here. Had a good long break. It's time to get uh, back on trail and finish up last little bit here and get to the town of Rollins. We're going up on top of this mesa here and then it's all downhill for like seven and a half miles or so I think is all we got left. Very steep uphill but at least it's short. Just gotta get to the top of this mesa. And the sun came out for the first time today. And the temperature just increased 20 degrees. That was a fun little climb. Okay. There's a storm coming, blowing over this ridge right next to me. Might get rained on for just a little bit as it blows by. Still got a couple more miles to go yet. The town's over that way at the end of the valley. The first storm just blew by. We got some moderate rain, moderate winds. A couple of lightning strikes overhead. 
there's another storm coming in that one in theory should be far enough north of us where it's going to be no factor but it's pretty close and that one's looking worse so we'll see if we get hit again that storm don't look so friendly coming up on a road junction CDT goes that way and kind of behind the hills there zigzag is its way through the middle of town which you can't see I'm gonna go a different route uh, my goal is right across there the west end of town I've got to see a woman about a goat so to get there I got to zigzag down there cross over to get back there so that's gonna be the first stop well, here we are. This is my stop. Some of you guys have seen this trailer before that looks familiar. And I am at the Grateful Goat Hostel. And I just got some DoorDash food. So I'm going to eat real quick and then we'll get a tour of the place. So here's my food that just arrived. I'm going to pig out on this real fast from a Japanese steakhouse. I got all kinds of good stuff. And then we'll do a tour of the place here in a minute. All right, I've had my dinner. I'm all cleaned up, freshly showered. Let's go meet the owner. We'll get a little tour of this place. It's awesome. Well, we've had an exciting evening. We saved the life of a baby goat, and um, we'll just take care of the tour and introductions and stuff for tomorrow when it's a little less busy. So that's just gonna do it for now. It's getting late. I'm gonna go to bed. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll just see y'all in the next one bright and early.